Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be rebuilding the Galacticos for Real Madrid. And in that, what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to get the maximum potential players, the highest potential players currently in each and every, every single position. And we're going to win everything we possibly can with this. Um, so we, we chose Real Madrid because they're renowned for the Galacticos. They're renowned for being the best club in the world with the most money. And we're going to give them £1 billion, okay? And with that, we can buy the best players in every single position and try and win everything. Complete world domination. So, for this, we're going to be using a site called Career Mode Stars. And this then will give us the overalls, potentials, and everything to the best ability. And it's all up to date to the current um, update. So, guys, let's get straight into it. And I'll show you what we're going to be buying and what we're going to be selling so this is the current real madrid side as you can see it's a very good side as it is um i've done it by overall at the moment but what we're going to be doing is obviously going by potential so the maximum potential and that's what we're going to be going by to sign some players um we might not sign every single position uh, we may have some players at the purple are better uh, or the better of the lot so we may keep them um, something like Courtois 90 may be the maximum rating you can get. I'm not too sure. We can have a little look at that in just a second. But, um, but what we're going to be doing, we're trying to get everybody over oh, a decent standard then. Do you know what I mean? We probably won't get everyone over 90. But we're trying to get the Galacticos back at Real Madrid. So what I'll be using is this. As you can see, this is but here. You can search for potential. So currently the best left wings are striker is Kylian Mbappe. We've obviously got Vinicius. So what I may do is put Vinicius to the right, maybe, and then uh, keep Mbappe on the left, and then maybe we can work it like that. Best strike in the world, Haaland, we need to sign him. Um, currently with the best potential in an in in attacking role is um, Mus Masali, Masala, whatever his bloody name, Masala from uh, Bayern. Very good, and obviously we've got uh, Valverde already. Um, we have got a left right winger here. But as you can see, if we play in these two, we don't need him. We've got Pedri then as a centre midfielder, as one of the best potential players. Um, we've got Kevin De Bruyne, but we probably won't play with Kevin De Bruyne. Um, and we will probably sign Rodri. So that's what we're looking at for there. Then we're going down to obviously uh, the, the, just below the 90s coming into, um, and just the 91s. So um, we've got a centre back and right back in uh, Arho. Um, we can get him, uh, we'll probably playing centre back, um, and then we can just find out positions all the way down here and do searches to find out what the best centre backs, right backs, left backs on this game for the potential wise, obviously within reason to try and get these going. So let's go to the team in career mode and use this website to get these players signed, sealed, and delivered. So let's get straight to it. So guys, this is our team so far. And as you can see, uh, this is how we're set up. Okay, so I want to play this style of football. Um, so yeah, this is how we're set up at the moment. So we're going to sell one or two players, don't get me wrong. And then we're going to obviously try and buy some in. So first of all, I want to use the site to find the best possible striker, which we kind of already know. Um, so let's go here. Best striker. We filter there. For potential, with the highest rating is either Kylian Mbappe or Haaland, okay? So for me, I'm going to get Haaland because I'm going to get Kylian Mbappe on the left wing. So we're going to get both of these signed, okay? So Mbappe on the left wing and then Haaland up front. So that's what the plan is to do. So uh, that's the plan for them too. Okay. Next then, we've got Bellingham as a cam. Um, so let's go to the site. Again. So let's go and have a look now for a cam. Where is it? There it is. Um, and the over 90, so we're going to search for that again. And then we're going to have a little look at that. So, Jude Bellum's here, 87, but they're actually saying that uh, Musaya, Musaya, Musal, Musala, whatever his name is, is a better fit for that as he's 93. So, rules are rules. Um, we are going to be going to get we are going to get Musaya or Masala or whatever his name is, and then I'm probably um, so if we have a look at the centre mids, I imagine Jude Bellingham's got to be up there. 
then set the mid, get rid of that, search the filter. And Jude Bellingham is actually. Well, that's criminal that he's not, but unfortunately, rules are rules. So we're going to have to get rid of Jude Bellingham, which is absolutely crazy to think that Pedri's rated better. You know what? I'm going to keep a stance for here. I'm going to say we're keeping Jude Bellingham. Okay, we're keeping him, and I don't care what people say in the chat. I don't care. CDM then, we're going to have a look at. Ooh. Personally, um, I'm going to go for Rodri. Okay. Uh, he's currently 89, higher rated, and he's got a higher ceiling. So, potential wise, we're going to go for Rodri there. Left back. Ooh, oh, there's no one over 90. Interesting. Let's go to 85 potential then. Oh, so it's 88 per here. And we're going to go with... Camavinga's not a left back. Uh, we're going to try and sign this Baldy. We're going to go and try and sign Baldy um, as a left back. Like he's rated 89. Same as Camavinga, but Camavinga's not a left back. He's a centre midfielder. So, yep, we're going to be doing that. Next, then, is two centre backs we need. So let's have a little look. If we have a look at potential. Ooh. So it's uh, Ario, Aroa, Ario, Aro, Aro, something like that. And uh, Bastian. So there we go. We've got two players. Don't get me wrong. I'm butchering these. Um, these are the two players we're going for. I set the backs. And then we are going to look for a right back. You can't play because you're going to have a centre back. He's a centre back. Where is the next right back then? Would be Trent Alexander Arnold. Um, we got him, midfielder, centre back, right back. Okay, you could argue he could play a right back, but he's not. So Trent Alexander Arnold would be our next pick as a right back. So that's what we're going to be going for. Next, then, we're going to be looking at the keeper. Last but not least, keeper. And there we go, highest potential, which is Donnarumma from PSG, 24 years old, 87 rated. Um, he's he's same as Courtois, to be fair. Um, just that the, the the well, there is no difference really, is it? We could keep Courtois. I guess we could keep him. There's no harm in absolutely keeping Courtois um, as the keeper. And I think you know what? I'm going to keep Courtois as a keeper because after we sign all the other players. These funds are going to be running out very soon. Talking of funds, let's head over there now to show you what I've got and what I've done. So as you can see, we have got one billion as a budget. Um, I've bought a couple of coaches in, obviously, because you, you might need coaches um, to help with the career mode, especially if you're going to be simming games, which we are. Um, so yeah, one billion to buy these players. Will it be enough? I hope it will. Um, I think it will be enough. I think we'll be hitting the, the seven to eight hundred million pound mark by the end of it. But yeah, so that's it. So the only player that we might be keeping is Bellingham, and I believe we're keeping Courtois, um, Vinicius Junior. I think that's it. Really, we might see now. I'll let you know. So let's. What I'm going to do now is um, just buy all the players, get them all in, and then we work from there. So guys, you can see by the budget, we have spent an awful lot of money. Uh, we're in week four now, um, and this is the side we have created. As you can see, we've got Haaland up front, Mbappe, Vinicius on the right. Um, and then, as you can see by there, we've got a very, very good squad. The weakest point is obviously our left back, Baldy, but obviously he is going to progress. Obviously, that's the thing um, with that's the whole point of this is that we're going to get the best team possible and see if we can win non-stop all the way through um i'm going to do at least one season with this we'll see how it goes at the end of the season see if i get sacked or not but hey um but yeah so this is the squad so far we have sold an awful lot of players so i'm going to go straight into that now if we go into the transfer history of my club 
Um, and you can see, um, so obviously I've sold a couple of players. As you can see, I'm not going to go, I'm going to pick up one or two. I have spent huge money to get this. If it's a buyout clause, I bought it. Um, I haven't negotiated, I've just done it to get the players in that we need. As you can see, I've sold a couple of players, brought in a little bit of money, but no one near the amount I've spent. Don't forget we had 1 billion in this club, and now we're only left with 375,000. So if you already put that in perspective, oh, that's a hell of a word. Um, you can see we have spent an awful lot of money. So for instance, Rodri, 128 million. Um, yeah, you're going to see it over here. I'm not going to go into specifics, but obviously our big purchase was Harland for 205 million. So yeah, but that's why you sometimes you need to pay big to get the best. And we have paid big and we have got the best. As you can see, the side is very, very good. And it can only improve. Well, the players that can improve will improve. Um, so, yeah. We are now in the, the minx of the, the pre-season tour. Um, and now I'm just going to focus on just skipping now. Skip everything and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, guys, uh, I will skip now to January and see how we do. So here we are in January, as you can see the top right is kicking off because obviously you're not playing and doing anything. But um, let's see how we've got on so far. Um, we hit January, see if, um, well, see if we need to make any changes, um, maybe even, even if it's bench changes, see if anybody's unhappy and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go in straight now and check the squad. After the squad then we're going to go and check the league table. So this is the side so far and obviously you can see um, a lot of tired legs. but. Um, they just come off a game. Um, we're going to go to the stats now. We're going to see how many games we've played for everyone. So, um, actually, the right winger Rodri has been playing quite a lot. That's quite surprising, to be fair. He scored 19 goals. That's absolutely huge. Um, Harland has scored 10. Um, it looks like Mbappe's been dropped quite a lot. Rodri's been dropped quite a lot as well. Um, yeah. Unless this is just uh, rotational. But obviously, I can't control what the, the the players do in that sense. Do you mean they're like lone players? Um, he's been playing quite a lot. Don't know why. Because we've got some very, very good centre backs. Um, so it'd be interesting to see why they're playing so much. Um, I just want to check my two centre backs. So my right back uh, is playing all right, decent amount. Bellingham is only playing a couple of games. Um, Where are they? I'll just change it to this. We'll be able to see. Um, there you go. So that's my one time. That's been 15 games. The other one's played 12. Yeah, they're doing okay. It's all right. Yeah, nothing to worry about really. Halfway through the season, so it's not too bad. Development side. Um, yeah. No, I haven't changed in his position. Maybe that's why he's not playing as much. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, look, it's, um, we've got a good squad going on by here, something new, something different, and yeah, should be good. Um, let's have a little look how we're doing in the league. Okay, so we're top, hopefully, thank God for that, but only by one pointer. Um, Barcelona are going unbeaten at the moment, so they're doing the invincible season, it looks like to me. Um, we've had one loss, but hey, you know what I mean, one loss, uh, we've got better goal difference, um, we're scoring a lot of goals. Four draws, 13 wins, and 43 points top of the league. That's brilliant. Next, now we're going to uh, check this out. Uh, we're in the semi finals of that. Cool. Um, and we're in the last 32 of that. Brilliant. Uh, next, then, is the Champions League. We're still in that. We've got Man City next, which is a huge game to play. Um, and see how we get on with that. Um, I am going to make a sub uh, by um, this guy. Where are you? Going to buy this guy because we haven't got a, um, a backups striker just because it's been recalled for some reason. Don't know why. So we are going to make an approach to buy. We're going to delegate to buy, and obviously we can buy him as soon as possible to get him into the squad. 
um, and it'll just be a, a bench player really. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. Uh, I'm going to skim through all these, and then I'll be straight back. Here. So um, I have made one signing of a striker, uh, which is this Schritt or Schritch or whatever his name is. Um, so now we are going to uh, just skip forward the, the to the end of the season to see what we won and if we won anything. So, as you can see, there's the blue background. You can see that we are still in the Champions League. And there's the final bit there. I'm hoping it is anyway. Um, that should be the final. It's only one bit there. But um, as you can see, just from them results on the, on the screen there, it looks absolutely fantastic that we've been playing really, really well. Um, so, let's go and choose the league table, I would say, first. Um... Oh, there we go. So the semi-final, we went 4-1, so we got the final. Let's have a little look at our results so far. Uh, so 4-1 against Napoli. Um, we had... Can't see us there, but... Yeah, there we go. So we beat Atletico quite convincingly. Um, I want to see how we did against City. Oh, we beat them 5-2 on aggregate, which is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Um, so now let's go and check out the league. Actually, no, we're going to check out the cup first. So we check out this cup, which we won. Uh, the Cop de España. Uh, the Super Cup. Uh, we did not win. So Atletico won that. We lost to Atletico's. Um, we lost 4-1 on penalties. Oh, gosh, that's not good. And now the big one. The league. La Liga Esports. Let's have a look. And we won it. No, we didn't. We did not win the league. We lost by two points on 88 points. We did not win the league. Oh, no way. How can we not win the league? Oh, well, there we go. It looks like if you, do, if you buy the talent, sometimes it doesn't win everything. Um, the next thing now is obviously to simulate the, the Champions League. You know what? We're going to do this right now, right here, right now right here right so here we're gonna go you can probably hear the rain absolutely pummeled down so i don't know what's going on but um here we go so now we're just gonna sim this uh quick sim it if we win we win if we lose we lose so here we go there we go one nil jude bellingham coming in the 61st minute with the goal to put us one nil and make us champions league winners um again guys i can only apologize for the rain Damn, that's coming down hard. Um, so, let me know if you want to carry on to next season. And we can see what goes on next season. Um, with the same squad, we probably won't buy anybody. We'll just keep the same squad. As you can see, um, let's have a look at the progression. Let's, let's have a little look. So, who's uh, who's developed the best? Um, who's who's improved the most? So, Kylian Mbappe's gone from a 91 to a 93. Haaland's gone from 91 to 92. Uh, Vinicius has gone to a 91 rated. Um, Courtois has stayed the same. He's not got no progression in him. Um, also, Rodri's got 90 rated. Uh, Bellingham's gone up to 89. 88 for Alexander-Arnold. Uh, Aro has gone up to 88 as well. Look, it's loads and loads of progression here, which is really nice to see. Guys, I'm going to have to call it here. This rain is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to carry on. Thanks for uh thanks for sticking around and don't forget to like and subscribe for more